If you're looking for the cheapest and most reliable Madden 22 coins on the market, check out my sponsor, MMOEXPR.com. Links are in the description, and use code JEDI at checkout for 5% off. Alrighty, hey there guys, Andrew Dacasi here, aka JEDI95, coming at you guys with another video. So, as promised, as I talked about yesterday with my AFC video, in this video I'm going to be talking about every single team, one player for every team I would like to see for the nfc side of things so if you guys do enjoy this video remember to hit the like button and subscribe if you guys are new get to the to the uh, channel guys it would mean so much uh but moving on we're going to start off with the a nfc north and i'm going to start with the packers and i think this one's obvious we would like i would like to see a brett Favre back in madden 23 i don't know why he was not in 22 he was in 21 that is for absolute certain uh would like to see him in 23 you know brett Favre gave the packers a lot of years a super bowl championship you know, was utterly dominant throughout his time. Well, for the most part, was dominant throughout his time in the uh, NFL. And honestly, I really think that he is just somebody that needs to be given a proper uh, time in the pat with uh, the game. You know what I mean? Like, I think he just absolutely needs to get another game. Uh, another he needs to be in the game. Next on for the Vikings, I'm going to go with Jared Allen. Now, this one's a little bit of a weird one, but I'm saying that because in the majority of his prime from 2008 till about 2013, he was a he was a perennial all he was a perennial not perennial, he was an all pro and he made three uh, four pro bowls during this time. And he actually finished second in defensive player of the year voting in the 2011 season. So I do think that it would be kind of cool to see Jared Allen back in the game. Plus, I don't even know if he's ever been in Madden uh, just since he retired, I don't know for certain. But yes, Jared Allen does need to come back. I would like to see him return or come into the game. For the Lions, I'm going to be going with Bobby Lane. Bobby Lane, definitely a quarterback that a lot of people sleep on. Yes, he wasn't the most productive quarterback, especially for his era. But he was a pro bowler. He was an all pro. He won three NFL championships with the with the, with the uh, Lions. Definitely somebody that needs to get a little bit more respect in terms of, you know, rankings i guess or just in general just people need to start uh me people need to put uh new people need to start talking about bobby lane basically for the next one for the bears finally wrapping up for the nfc north i'm going to be going with brian erlacher um one of the greatest linebackers ever eight-time all pro four-time pro bowler 2000 defensive player of the year 2005 defensive player of the year uh 2000s all decade you know rookie of the year in 2000 definitely somebody that um or he was too you know he just won one defensive player of the year in 2005 okay that's what it was uh but you know defensive rookie that's what i was looking at so uh but yeah brian erlacher definitely a great linebacker one of the greatest linebackers of all time would like to see him return for madden 23 i don't think he was in madden 22 pretty sure he wasn't moving on to the cowboys definitely gotta go with emmett smith i could have also thought of troy aikman but I think Emmett Smith is just much more of a player that I think people want to see. Three-time Super Bowl champ, one of the greatest running backs in terms of like individual statistics. You know the yardage, the uh, touchdowns, the insane amount of like the Super Bowl MVP, the uh, regular MVP because he actually was the MVP in 1993. You know, just overall Emmett Smith, one of the greatest running backs, has the case to be the greatest running back ever. And I think Emmett Smith should be in Madden 23. Next for the Washington Commanders, we now have Darrell Green, defensive back, five foot nine, uh, seven-time All-Pro, one All-Pro selection, two Super Bowl championships with the Washington Commanders in the 80s. I think in the late 80s and early 90s, I, uh, late 80s, because I don't because they didn't win anything in the 90s. But uh, yeah, definitely somebody that should be in the game. I would like to see um, Darrell Green back in the game. For the Giants, this one's I asked for this one last year. I remember Eli Manning uh, should be uh, coming back for Madden. 20, it should be in Madden 23. The last game I think he was in was Madden 20. Uh, so it would be kind of nice to have Eli in the game because they already have his brother Peyton's rights. I don't know if he's going to be in next year's game, uh, but they did have Peyton for 22. And it kind of really baffled me that they didn't have Eli for 21. Didn't make sense, but uh, any for for 22 they had Peyton for 22 but they didn't have Eli for 22 so it didn't make sense to me um so hopefully they can get that changed and get him in Madden 22 my apologies for that guys I just had to cut away real quick so then finally moving on to the Eagles we have Donovan McNabb Donovan McNabb six-time Pro Bowler helped get the Eagles to four I think like I think it was like five or six NFC championship games 
Uh, got a Super Bowl appearance in the 2006 season, in the 2005 season, or is it 2004 season? Yes, but it will ultimately come up short uh, to the Patriots. But Donovan McNabb, a really good quarterback, definitely somebody that uh, I think should be in the game. One of the he was really good. He was he was good in his prime. Uh, next for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, we have Derek. Brooks. Now, Derek Brooks was in Madden 21, but he was not in Madden 22. Uh, but Derek Brooks, 11-time Pro Bowler, 5-time All-Pro, Super Bowl champion, Defensive Player of the Year, definitely somebody that should be in the game. Um, was one of the greatest linebackers of the 2000s, probably one of the greatest of all linebackers of all time. Definitely was somebody that was a very, very good player in his day, and I think definitely should be back for Madden 23. Moving on to the Carolina Panthers, we have Steve Smith Sr. Now, he didn't really get like a whole lot of like all pro selections and whatnot. He only had like two all pro selections in 2001 and 2005, but he gave the Panthers a lot of great years. Five time pro bowler, uh, helped get the Panthers to the Super Bowl in the 2003 season before ultimately coming up short, uh, did win a comeback player of the year award after suffering an injury in the 2004 season, which took him out for the year. Uh, and then was cut by the Panthers and went on to have three seasons in Baltimore, where he actually had a solid season in 2014 and somewhat productive years in 2015 and 16. 2000, yeah, 15 and 16. Okay, I just had to make sure the seasons. Uh, and then for the Falcons, we have Todd McCl McClure. Sure, why not? Uh, but for the Falcons, they don't really have a whole lot of uh, historic players. But the reason I chose Todd is because he gave the Falcons 12 years. He gave them a lot of years, barely missed games. In 2011, he did miss a few games. Uh, he missed one game in 2011, uh, 2001, only played 10 games in 2000. But he gave the he gave the Falcons a lot of great years uh, but with that O-line, you know, the Fal with the Falcons, especially when Matt Ryan and Michael Vick were the quarterbacks. Definitely had some good years uh, with them. All right, so next we have Drew Brees. Now, Drew Brees, guys, I don't know why he wasn't in Madden. Okay, I take that back. I know why he wasn't in Madden 22. It's because they usually take a year off from when they retire or whatnot to, you know, what for whatever. I, I do suspect he should be back in the game next year. You know, all pro selection, Super Bowl MVP, Super Bowl, Offensive Player of the Year twice. Um, you know, Brees has eclipsed the 5,000 passing yard mark, like one, two, three, four four times kind of wild when you really think about it four times he's been offensive player of the year like that's insane uh and you know the touchdown and interception ratio in incredible 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 stuff uh but overall i do like the i do think drew Brees should be back in mad 23 i think he was a really great he was really really great in his prime definitely was one of the best quarterbacks in the league Moving on to the NFC West, the first one we're going to be talking about is Steve Young. Steve Young, definitely an all-time great Hall of Famer, no question about it. Seven-time Pro Bowl, three-time All-Pro, three-time Super Bowl champion, two-time MVP, Super Bowl MVP. You know, would be great to have him back in the um, in the game or have him in the game. I don't know. I don't remember. Was he ever in Madden 20? Um uh, was he a man in 20? Because I know he wasn't in 21 or 22. Uh, but I do like Steve Young. I wish he would be back for Madden 23. Uh, moving on to for my Seahawks, we have Steve Largent. He was not in Madden 21 or Madden 22, which I think is a travesty. Uh, it is the greatest crime that EA could commit other than, you know, making Madden 22 itself. So, but seven-time All-Pro, seven-time Pro Bowl, one-time All-Pro was at one point the legally, the, the, um, the best receiver of all time, but obviously not anymore. But I would like to have Steve Largent because he gave the Seahawks quite a bit of years. In fact, he basically gave the Seahawks his entire career. Um, led the league in receiving twice, yards per game once. You know, Steve Largent, really great player. Moving on to the Rams, we have Kurt Warner. I would like to see the St. Louis and Rams get him. Uh, absolutely was dominant throughout his uh, The Greatest Show on Turf years. Uh, after, you know, but then afterwards, he just wasn't the same, you know, after the 2001 season, but, you know, he did have a bit of a career resurgence with Arizona. He would get nine and go nine and seven, make the NFC title game, uh, make the Super Bowl actually when, when, uh, would, uh, make a Pro Bowl selection in 2009, you know, his last year in the league. He actually had a solid year. So I do think Kurt Warner should be back in the game. Would be nice to see him. And then finally for the Oh, for the Cardinals, my apologies, that was the Rams. For the Cardinals, I would like to see his uh, uh, Kurt Warner's teammate, Ienas Williams, again gave the Arizona Cardinals a lot of years from 2000 and from 94 to 2000. You know, 
consistent all pro uh well not consistent two-time all pro consistent pro bowler uh all but one year and then he went to say went to st louis got a couple of pro bowls but you know Ienas williams he was the team captain for madden 21 uh he is not in madden 22 i would like to see him return for madden 22 as well so that's gonna do it guys these are the um players that i would like to see throughout madden 22 for madden 22 what do you guys think let me know in the comment section below guys uh don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel if you guys are new and with that i will see you guys in the next video i'm out peace